So let's start off with the blog. We all have one, right? Every company that creates a website needs to have a homepage, pricing, product, about us, and a blog. That's, it's just what you do. The old way is long form articles. Really long, like 12 minutes reading time or even longer, 25 minutes reading time. I've once seen an article that had an hour reading time on it. It's absolutely insane. The content creation process, most content writers, they just regurgitate the top five articles ranking in Google, scan those, and then basically plagiarize what's already out there, maybe rewriting in their own tone of voice. Like that's, that's literally how it goes. There's no, typically no new unique insight. It's purely written for SEO, whatever that may mean. And all companies, they try to save the main point for last because it increases time on site. Another amazing metric. Whereas the new way should be long enough form, right? People have a question, you need to provide an answer. People want to learn something, you need to provide an insight. It doesn't have to be 12 minutes, it could also be one minute. You want to collect unique insights from subject matter experts. Those could be colleagues, those could be members of a community, those could be your target audience, even better. You want to optimize the layout for quick understanding of what the value of the blog article could actually mean for you. Add a clickable table of contents where you see the H2 headings. So you see, ah, wait a minute, I need to like all the way scroll down because that's the, that's the thing that I'm looking for. So you skip the rest, you allow people to do that. Or add a TLDR section all the way at the top of the blog where you provide a key insight so people can learn basically the whole article at a glance. You could uh, work in series, name your articles. It creates anticipation. So you're starting to use it way more like a, like a media house rather than a random blog with articles written purely for SEO. 